Welcome back to Arizona Daily Mix. We love our art in Old Town Scottsdale, especially when we can mix it with food, right? And there is a great event coming up that we want to tell you about. But first, I need to introduce you to my guests, Chef Kevin Wemlinger. Thank you so much for Bourbon and Bones. And by the way, this smells really, really good. Thank you well, for thank being you. here. Good to be and here. And this is Ellie Bocaracci. She's from the Tilt Gallery. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for so having we are talking about the Scottsdale Gallery Association Taste of Scottsdale. It's Eat, Drink, and Arts. Gold Palette Art Walk. That is a mouthful, but it's a great event. So let's first talk about what folks can expect here. Absolutely. So on April 5th, we have um, a special art walk coming up. Now, mm -hmm. I do want to emphasize that we have art walks every single Thursday night and they're free. throughout the year. Yes. They are free. Just with one exception, which is Thanksgiving night. Uh -huh. um, some of them are just a little bit more important than the rest of them, which we call them Gold Palette Series. And mm -hmm. the one on April 5th is one of those more important ones. It's called the Taste of Scottsdale. We have paired six of our wonderful local wineries with six wonderful restaurants, and we place them at um, some of our gallery uh -huh. members. So it's going to be a night full of, you know, art, food, wine, it's going to be a beautiful night. And the weather is so wonderful. I mean, you just can't go wrong with an event like this. So Absolutely. before we get into the food, because it smells really good and I'm sure it tastes just as good, let's talk about the different galleries participating, specifically Tilt Gallery, and what kind of art you're going to be featuring. Absolutely. So um, as I said, we have six of our galleries, mm -hmm. member galleries participated, participating, but we do have more than 30 member galleries in the Scottsdale Art District. And we do have a big collection of art. Um, I actually have some examples here. So let me quickly tell you what we have here. Absolutely. That's, um, down this there. Right here? No, no, no. Actually, down we here? have a photograph. Yes, it's uh -huh. a hand-painted silver gelatin print. It's done by Aline Smithson. She's represented at Tilt Gallery. That celestial, blue celestial looking photograph uh -huh. is done oh, by yeah. Ernie Button. He's uh -huh. also at Tilt Gallery. And then we have that wonderful painting by Jackie Keller. She's at Quantum Art. This beautiful whimsical piece here by John Gleason. This says, is so unique. No calamari. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, he's also at Quantum Art. And also pottery by Alpace at Quantum Art. Mm -hmm. We have this beautiful jewelry piece by Ingrid Donaldson. Oh, she's so even at, jewelry. Yes, we have um, Jewel Smith. So um, she's at Bling Gallery. What else we have? We so have, you have art of all kind that absolutely. people are going to be exposed to and get to see, and absolutely. perhaps different galleries they may not have been to before. Yes. I understand that the theme is uh, worth a thousand words. Yes. What does that mean for folks? Well, um, Worth a Thousand Word was actually an event, a gold palette event, which mm -hmm. we had recently, March 22nd. Um, it was mostly around photography. Mm -hmm. So we had some galleries exhibiting photography. We had submissions from artists that were not part of the galleries on mm -hmm. um, Scottsdale Art District. And also we had some performers doing some activities on the street. We had actually Jim Morris, president of Pixar Studios at Tilt oh, Gallery. Oh, fabulous. It was great. It was a beautiful night. We actually have another gold palette mm -hmm. one coming up on July 12, which is called Summer Spectacular. Okay, so back to April 5th, though, uh, because we don't want to leave Kevin out of this because he's very important to this equation. Sure. What is, what is it that you're making, and is this going to be what you're serving at the event? Right, yes. For, so we're going to be making a New York strip crostini. Mm-hmm. First off, I'd just like to say we're excited to be a part of this program. Mm -hmm. Since we're located in the heart of Old Town on 3rd Avenue and Scottsdale Road, it's a perfect fit for us. Yes. So, that being said, let's get to the food because Let's get we're to all it because look right? how good that looks. All right. So, great. first off, we seared off a New York strip. Mm -hmm. So, um, see, I was giving you time for it. To yes, cook. thank you. So, I, I <laughs> seared that off nice and rare. I'm going to let that sit. So, while that's resting, so that the juices go back into the middle of the steak, because if we cut it open now, it's just going to flow everywhere, right? Right, right. We don't want that. Right. So while it's resting, we're going to start on some blue cheese sauce. Ah, okay. nice. All right. So got some heavy cream. Uh-huh. Right in the bowl. Blue cheese crumbles. Mm-hmm. A little salt, kosher salt we use at the So again, everybody can obviously taste this at your restaurant, right. but they'll yes. be able to taste this at uh, the Taste of Scottsdale. That's right. Salt, pepper chives, a little bit of Cholula hot sauce. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let this start to get hot. We're going to let it warm up slowly so that we can get the blue cheese crumbles to melt. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little bit of chopped fine bacon because everybody loves bacon. Oh, perfect. We like to leave this bacon real crispy so that it adds a nice little texture. Uh huh. So 
While this is slowly heating up, we want to heat it up slowly because we don't want to scorch the cream. We want to heat it up so that the blue cheese will melt. Mm -hmm. Some blue cheeses are hard, some are soft. We want it to heat up to the point where the blue cheese melts. Okay. So once the blue cheese is melted and everything's happy, we're going to add in a little bit of sour cream at the very end. Mm -hmm. So that'll give us a nice little texture component. Great combination so, of flavors. Through the magic of television, <laughs> this is done. It's right here. We've let it cool off. It's uh -huh. more of a texture like cream cheese, so it's yes. easy to spread. So we're just going to slice some New York strip. And while you uh, finish that, I'm going to remind folks that it is in Old Town. It's April 5th, 6.30 to 9 p.m., Scottsdale Arts District. You don't want to miss it. It's the Scottsdale Gallery Association Taste of Scottsdale. And if you want more information or ticket information, go uh, visit ScottsdaleGalleries.com. And definitely you want to check out Kevin. He's going to be there. Bourbon and Bones, thank Bourbon you so and much. And check out Tile Gallery as well. Thank you both for being here. That looks Thank wonderful and it right. smells even better.